Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with the Vexer. I'm playing Infectinator Survivors. Um, it's a fairly older game, but just want to give it a shot. Maybe I'll make it into a bit of a mini series, if anything. Um, so let's just see how it goes. I'm playing the campaign, and we'll start a new game. And I am playing it a bit blind, so I did play through it quickly for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. And to see how the gameplay was. And it seems pretty fun. Um, this game is more of a strategy game, simulation game, and also our, our favorite, a survivor game, or a survival game. I've heard this game was pretty hard, uh, so we'll give it a shot. I'll probably won't speed through it, so let's see how it goes. So it looks like we select the team first, and you do have the survivors, scientists, worker, cop, Sydney, and the next team is the good and the bad, which is locked because I haven't played anything, so I can't unlock anything if you haven't played anything, right? See the SWAT team and Thug. Then you have No Man Left Behind, Clint and Freddy. Um, not exactly sure who they are, but I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a Easter egg or something like that. And of course we have the Left 4 Dead team, um, Zoe, Lewis, Francis, and Bill. Well, it would be cool if I could unlock them, but I don't have them yet, so I am stuck with the Fantastic Survivors team. I'm going to play with the tutorial on just to learn the game a little bit, so let's see how it goes. And then it looks like extra provisions. I don't think I have any of this, so let's just start from here. First aid kits and chips. We're gonna ride on off. Alright, so it looks like we're out of fuel. Your car slows down to a halt. There's no more fuel in the tank. The only way forward is to walk on foot. So I guess we're walking on foot. And a lot of zombies here. So this is a team of four, it looks like. I'm all selected. They're going to... Well, I'm going to have to press start to start it, but let's kill some of these zombies first. So it looks like Q to select all one for Sid, two for Delta, three for Mike, and four for Conman. So let's just try to clear this out really quick and have these guys search some loot. And also, yeah, this game is also almost like a TD or tower defense game where you can put turrets uh, on the map and just move your heroes around. Um, yeah, so right now it's it's the game is a lot of searching also to search for loot. Ammo seems to be the number one currency in this game. Um, I mean, could be wrong, but like I said, I haven't played much of it, so gotta get used to the controls a bit too. All right, so we are set up to whoa, I don't know what that was. Uh, we are set up for the next wave, but before we begin, let's set them up appropriately. We have Mike here, who's a melee character, the scientist, uh, con man, so, uh, looking a little weak, 75 HP. Uh, we'll try to hide him behind him, uh, behind Mike. We have Delta, we can position him anywhere. He's probably right here. Yeah, so anyways, before we hit start, we can go to character select screen and look at the bios for each character. So Sid is Sydney Cooney, looks like. Uh, a combat journalist working for an international news network. She just returned from home. Returned home from an assigned from an assigned in the Middle East. Okay. Uh, perks evade. Have the chance to evade from attacks. That's pretty good. And she holds a Glock. Delta or Neo Vakrasheva, I guess. Yeah, Delta would be probably easier to pronounce. It's a police officer from the local precinct, well trained in firearms and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Perks, run and load, able to reload while moving. Oh, that's a good perk. Mike, Michael Armstrong is a construction worker who is good in building stuff. Uh, stun blow melee attacks have the chance to stun enemies. Yes, that's why they call it stun blow, I guess. And he got an axe. Actually, Delta's got a Glock too, so. All right, and Liam Pyramid, or known as Con Man. Don't know why he's named Con Man. Hopefully, we'll find out sooner down the line. But he's the scientist who's working with the CDC trying to find a cure to the zombie virus. Perk, Eureka Moments, discover elements of research by chance. 
Receive random bonus search points when working. Okay. So that seems to be important. Uh, inventory, got nothing. Everybody's holding a Glock. Uh, these are the things we just found. Just looting stuff. Gunpowder, bolt assembly, spring, motor oil, grip. This materials, weapons, got nothing. Gears, we got nothing. So early in the game. So we'll see what's there. So we're going to start the battle. I think we got a pretty good position. Let's reload everybody. And start this. I'll move Mike a little bit higher. Put the sign this behind there. Nice. Simple enough. Quick reload. Probably don't need it, but why not? I don't know if they attack from both sides either. It's either gonna be here and then back here. I don't know. We can only see. So next wave is coming up. Not much for me to do. Just sit here and wait. Got four zombies, or they call them Zeds in this game. Oh, they're getting pretty close to Delta here. Oh, he took a little bit of damage. Oh well. Let's move him up here. We'll move Mike here. Con man will put behind here. We'll put Sid behind everybody. Well, not behind everybody. In a good position. Alright, this should be alright. So we got three Zeds, four Zeds. One the construction helmet. Not sure if that's one of Mike's friends, but who knows? He didn't seem to care. Alright, let's go to the next area. I think we looted everything. Alright, looks like we have two taxis right in front of us and a lot of things to loot. Um, looks like we have some time to search for stuff. So let's go to this one. Oh, the wave's coming, wave's coming. Come, come, come here. Leave. I'll leave Mike up here with Con Man. Ow. Took damage. It's not good. I put Delta to get some of the mats. Let's put Mike here. He'll put, I think he'll be my protector for the scientist most of the time. Um, looking at the ammo, we're looking okay. Alright, let's reload her. I will reload him. Next wave's coming up. Let's move them up. Oh, that's the furthest can go. Okay. Let's move him up. Everybody's looking decent. Mike is the only one who took a little bit of damage. Not the best thing in the world. Not the worst thing in the world either. Look at that. He's mowing him down. Actually, no. Delta took some damage. <laughs> talking about donuts. Sure. Mike needs a break. You're not going to get a break. Too bad. Let's go to the next area. And mission's done, I guess. So everybody leveled up a little bit. Or got experience points, not leveled up. Expedition success. 45 Z kills, 172 ammo, no casualties, was good. No weapons, no supply, no fuel, was bad. Uh, escape the objectives, escape the city. Alright, so you found zero fuel, turrets, and support. Can help. Hint is turrets and supports can help you survive. Alright. Sounds good to me. Alright, day one. Oh, what's this? Shiro. Woof woof. I uh, meet somebody called Scott. I'm glad you made it. My name is Scott. I'm the one on the radio, and this is my friend Shiro, the Samoyed. Is it Samo? Samoyo? I can't pronounce that. Welcome to my safe house. And woof. I hate to tell you this, but I have some bad news. Radio broadcast said today. They are sealing off the mainland. We only have 20 days before they nuke the whole city. Wow. We need to find a way out of here before the 20 days deadline ends. As you can see, my legs are injured. I need your help. Gathering supplies, work around the HQ. I'll be mining the radio. If we can fix this car, we might be able to use it to get out from the city. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think that fits at least. I don't know. Well, it's five people. I don't know. Your dog might not be able to make it unless you can sit on your lap, but that's your that's your problem. Let's we'll start working on it immediately. Uh, hey, I think we can use the tools from the workshop and work on upgrades and repairs. Sure. Should we start working on projects? Come visit me at the workshop. All right. So, 
no, no, he's got more to say. Last but not least, this is the mission briefing area. This is where we plan our night expedition. I know it sounds weird going out at night, but it's actually safer as zombies are less aggressive when it's dark. We'll meet here when the sun sets to plan our first expedition. Alright, so... Looks like my survivors are coming in to beat Scott and his dog Shiro. So like this is the missions. I guess we do that at night. It's six something in the morning. Um, I guess the first thing to do is get to workshop. I mean items. I'm not sure what we can do with the items, but nothing. Could craft. So Scott says we can craft new weapons and gear here in the workshop. Okay. You need to assign people to work on the project. More people means faster work. Sounds about right. Please choose a project. Which one should it be? Uh, I don't know. You tell. I have no idea. All right. So craft nine volt batteries. Study basic weapons. Study basic gear and turret upgrades. We don't have the materials, so I don't think we can do that. I believe. I think we just gotta learn the work. Uh, learn on the workshop without any materials right now. So. Can't create the batteries because it requires whatever this is. A large battery, car battery, car bat. So let's learn basic weapon. How about that? Now assign someone to work on the project. More people means faster work. All right, so I'm honestly just gonna put two people on this. Um, I'll put the scientist here and I'll put Sydney here as well. Right, is this any perks? No. Let's put her, yeah, put her here. All right, so I already select the project. We good? They're working on it. Okay, let's go to the garden. I think that's where we plant food, get food. Welcome to the garden. This is where we grow and raw ingredients for cooking in the kitchen. You can cultivate vegetables, fruits, and even trap small animals. Trap small animals in the garden, okay. To start, just select the project. So we want to do plant vegetables. Uh, plant vegetables looks like you get vegetables grow. We got fruits. Uh, plant fruits. You get fruits, of course. Small animals and garden upgrades. Um, let's go for actually look build and source. I think that says. Let's do. One the quick one. Let's let's plant some fruits. Now you need to assign someone to work on the garden. So we'll put Mike and Delta to work on that. Since the other two, the scientists and Sid, con man and Sid is working on the weapons. So it's about eight a.m. Two hours passed for me deciding and narrating for Scott in a weird accent. <laughs> All right, so they we could speed this up. Uh, looks like they're growing some pl fruits, plants. They're working on their project here. And this is a kitchen. Let's look at the kitchen and see what Scott has to say. It's good to finally see you in the kitchen. Are you ready for your first cooking lesson? This is where we process raw ingredients into edible food supplies for our group to eat. Assign a few people to the kitchen and choose a cooking project to start producing food. Alright, so kitchen upgrade, learn new recipes, increase supplies, learn to rations of your expedition team. So you get the food, fruit cup, need fruits for that. So do you make food or uh, I don't know. So this is the upgrades, this is making the food and this gives you two food. Okay, so these are just I'm a little confused because it does give you supplies as well. Um, you know what? Which one's faster? This one's faster. Let's build this one. Uh, Scott, once you have chosen a dish to cook, you need to assign someone to work on it. Go ahead and select the empty slot and assign someone. Um, let's put the scientist to cook. <laughs> That'll be fun. So you can go cook for us. And we've got radio. What's the radio do? Ah, so yeah, recruitment call. Send out a radio broadcast to call survivors to join us. Oh, so you can add to your team, I guess. Locating supply cache. Try to transmit message and locate any available supplies out there. 
for supplies, but we need a battery. We don't have one. Uh, try to transfer message looking. Uh, need a battery. Battery, battery. So we all need battery. So we need to find a car battery. Can we get it from here? <laughs> oh, this car is pretty bad condition. Um, I thought we just ran a few. <laughs> Even so, we can still fix it. You'll need to select a project to start physical repairs. Don't forget to assign someone to the garage to work on the project. Some projects may require material before you can start working on it. You may have to send people on a condition mission to collect these materials. Yeah. Alright, so fix engines, blah blah blah. We have nothing. So we cannot fix anything. Alright, don't forget to assign someone to the garage to work on the project. I didn't assign a project. Crazy man. Um, let's look at the house. I mean, we got like a library-ish area. Looks like one of them did something. <laughs> um, look, there's a chainsaw, chainsaw, blueprints, medical supplies. This is the dining area. Um, sleeping area. I, I think somebody's been here before. <laughs> Um, don't know why you're alone. That might be a mystery on its own. And you got a nasty old toilet place or what do you want to call it? Bathroom, wash closet or whatnot. Why are you walking around with your gun sick? <laughs> Gone crazy working on the workshop? I think she's going to sleep. Yeah, she's getting some rest. So the biggest problem I had, I, I couldn't figure out. And... <laughs> I'm looking at it now, it's just, they say they're tired, that's when they was going to say I couldn't figure out when they're sleepy or, or need some rest, but it's actually right here and I didn't see that before when I pr uh, did a quick playthrough of the game. So that's interesting, but I don't know if there's a bar for that. And on it looks like some people need to reload, <laughs> so I hope they reload sooner or later. Alright, so, oh look, they have the ailments here, tired, moves speed is reduced, okay. Slightly tired, okay, so when you're tired, you lose things, okay. So it looks like you could kick members of the team as well, which would be pointless. But maybe they're just not that great team members, so maybe you want to kick them. Who knows? Alright, so let them sleep. Why are you still, I thought you're tired. Why are you still working on this? I guess you're not tired anymore. Alright, it's 2 p.m., so they've been working non-stop. Well, these two have been working non-stop. Can you guys go sleep? Can I tell you to go sleep? Nope. Probably have to cancel? I don't know. Well, we'll just let it go for now. Um, Because they're, they're nearly done and... Yeah, they're not there. Well, they're nearly done. Probably can get some sleep. So I'm going to speed this up really quick. Okay, so they actually did go to sleep. And it's sundown. It looks like the sun's coming down. So we can go on an expedition very soon. Oh, 6 o'clock night. It's time to venture out. This mission briefing area is where we plan our next expedition. We can send up to four people. It's better not to go alone. We need to decide who should we assign on this expedition. Um, the auto assign. These two are the first to pop up. I kind of don't want to send the scientist. She's pretty weak. I do want to send Sid because she's going to. She's pretty decent in shooting, but they're both tired. Is he tired? Oh, okay. Because they're tired, the auto assign didn't want them to go. Um, maybe I just don't care that much. So let's send them all. <laughs> yeah, let's send them all. I'm going to bring a full party. So the building in the middle is where we are right now. So this is probably Scott. Building I, I don't know. I, can't, I lost the accent. <laughs> The building in the middle is where we are right now. Your current position is marked with the red arrow. Yes. We need to explore the secure area before we can go to the other areas. Let's explore this area. How many times can I say area? Alright, so we're going to go explore it. And go right into it. Okay, so from what I've got... Oh, you need to explore this area before we can go further. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Area, area, area. <laughs> the area is crawling with us. Try to live as many as possible. The more zombies we kill, the less we will encounter next time. To leave the area, send your team to the edge of the map and press the leave button. Good luck. Alright, so we gotta explore, I think, at least 75% of the area to have it quote unquote explored. 
Um, right, some icons here, this shiny is loot, usually. This exclamation point, not too sure what that is. Um, I've heard it's good things and bad things, so I am. we're going to find out. But what I would want to do is set up a perimeter search. And we're just going to explore around this building, whatever this is. Whatever kind of building this is. So let's get Mike up front. Get the scientists in the back. So you kind of can strategize them to be positioned in weird ways. Or not weird ways, in ways that, you know, who's leading and everything. But they do get, it does get a little messed up, as you can see. So I'll put Mike there. Have Sid search that con man. You're going to stay behind because you're a little weak. Oh, looks like we got some ammo or coins. We got a zombie for a zombie coming in. You got it. Get him. Get him. Out of ammo. Oh yeah, let's 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 reload. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna just again set up the perimeter, search around first, see what's there. Looks like we got a wave coming. Oh I see Sydney's really tired. So slow. Alright, let's sit back here. I have Sid go search. Alright, let's grab Mike. You can go down here. I got a car tire, so that helps with the the fixing of um the car. Alright, let's get them all. What is going on? It's another exclamation point. I'm a little worried about that. I'm just gonna walk towards the edge a little bit. Let's sit catch up a little bit. Um yeah, it's not put you up front, of course. What's going on? I see a zombie. Okay, no. Don't want to attack me. I'm happy about that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're missing. Somebody's missing shots behind us. We'll sit back and wait for that. Come on, left. Get him. No? Alright, we'll reload. Alright, down south we go, and we're gonna loop around, and then we're gonna start entering the buildings. Oh, oh, let's back up, back up. I want the scientists up front. Come on, Delta, you get up front. Alright, so, almost there. I do want to look inside for the loot. Ooh, zombies. Why are you always in the front? Stay back. Bam! Construction workers. Diesel! Alright, I'm gonna swing. Uh, so close to the entrance. Alright, let's we'll just let Sid catch up a little bit. Now we can loot the car. Alright, let's go loot the car. I'm gonna put you back here, my dude. And what the car, I think you loot up to two times? Three times? Three times. So I had Sid, Doc, and then Sid loot again. So you can loot the car three times. So we got like, a lot of good stuff. We got ammo. I think we got extra stuff as well, I didn't really see. Alright, so we're almost done looping around. Ooh. There's a lot of exclamation points, so I'm a little worried about that. We're gonna go back up. I think we've cleared it. Okay, we cleared the perimeter, so now we're gonna go in. And this is where it gets a little rough, because the scientist, Conman, seems to always want to be up front. So, oh, nice shot. Hold up, hold up, let's reload. Alright, something's coming up. Oh, that thing's got a lot of life. Or, that was a lot of misses. Alright, let's get in. Alright, so we're in. Why are you in front again? Seriously. Alright, Delta, you're the cop. Let's see what you can do. Oh, oh. Let's put Mike here. Delta. What is going on over there? That looks like some kind of zombie. Um, do we have to save? What's going on? Check. Found corpse. While scavenging, you found a corpse. Next to the corpse is a backpack. Ooh. No, we must search it. We ain't leaving it. Each side search the backpack. Inside the backpack you found ammo. Nice. Okay, so that was a positive. Alright, we're gonna slowly move them in here. Let's go, let's go. Got a box here to loot. 
That's the outside. All right, Mike will be here. Or not. All right, so, uh, con man, you search. Sid, hang on. Ooh, I saw engine parts. Nice. All right, let's keep going. All right, so that's outside. Delta, you might want to lead. All right, nothing here. Let's go, let's go. All right, see zombies there, so I'll take... Oh, kill the corridor. Take Sid out here to search. Bring Delta to watch out. Bring Mike on this side. It's a little spread out. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah, Mike took some damage. Not good. That was bad planning. Um, he should be fine back there. All right, let's get Mike back up. Ah, unfortunately, I'm making another circle inside too, but that's fine. All right, what's that? It looks like I have to go around. We'll go around. Yeah, I gotta go around from the outside in. Hopefully Sid doesn't get stuck behind or get killed behind. From behind. Alright, the scientists got really stuck going up front. Alright, we've explored the area, explored 75%, but I, I still wanna check out the looting. Loot. Let's search this. I'll have him back here. Alright, Mike, you're gonna check this guy. It's another backpack. We, no, not leave it. We want to search it. We found a DIY armor. Nice. Um, sure. I don't know what he was doing in the bathroom, but found armor. So, do I want to equip it now? So we want to go to character, equip gear. All right. So I'm gonna put Mike, since he's melee, to have the equipment. So he's not the DIY armor. So a homemade armor suit satisfaction not guaranteed. Okay. Um, hold on a second. If I unequip it, what does it? Is there any stats improvement? I can't really tell, but okay, it's fine. Uh, before we move forward, let's see if we got anything else. Nope. Time to move, time to move. We're back in the building. We're gonna go, I think up is dead end, so we gotta go down here. Um, let's enter into this room. Nice shot. Yeah, enter here, I'll have Sid search here. We'll do some exploration outside. All right, let's gonna keep going, keep going. Looks like a living room. Nope, that's outside. Let's keep staying inside for a little bit. I think the last place to search is just down here anyways. Um, let's kill these zombies really quick. Ooh, got some fabric. Down here, a little small area. Looks like got some loot and another exclamation point. So Mike, you get that. It's backpack, search it of course. Uh, found nothing, so that's wonderful. Uh, search the water cooler, and I think we explored most of the map. I think we just didn't come here, but that's not a big deal. Or yeah, I'll check it anyways. Oh no, we've been here. No, it's in here. Yeah, so it can go alone. <laughs> It's, it's just meets up anyways yeah nothing else okay so we're gonna have to get to the safe point as they call it outside of the border of the map that's how you kind of get out of here so we explored 91 percent um usually i would i would want to complete it all the way but don't want to spend too too much time in it in an area if you don't need to so we're gonna go out. So it looks like this border here, that's where we wanna be. So have them all out here. I know Sid's a little tired, so it's moving a little, little slow. So we're gonna leave the area. So 
says, survivors is currently not on the safe area will not get will get help when you leave okay so that's why you want to be in a safe area so we're leaving um looks like everybody's in good shape everybody's in safe zone so we're gonna leave uh yes thank you for watching if you liked the video leave a like down below and of course subscribe for your boys don and dave thank you very much bye